Hello everybody out here on YouTube. It is I here, Real Beautiful Beauty. Going to be talking about our product today. I'm not going to be able to do a full product review today because I'm not sure how this product is going to work yet. And I'm throwing you guys a little bit of a curveball today. This is not a beauty product. This is not a skincare product. This is not a hair care product. This is not makeup. This is not cosmetic. This is not a lotion. Uh, this is not laser hair removal. This is not electrolysis. This is not a food product review. This is nothing that I normally talk about. <laughs> okay, but it is what it is. I'm here talking about it. Okay, so I just got this. I bought this from Amazon. I believe I paid like $14 or $15 for it, something like that. Just got it in the mail today. I'm super excited. Glad I bought it. I hope it works. Hopefully the name is a little explanatory. Oh, you know what I mean? Okay, so this is called Grandpa Gus's Potent Rodent Repellent for ri rice. <laughs> for rice. <laughs> Not rice. For mice and rats. Pardon me, you guys. I just woke up. I am tired. I need to go back to bed. But anyhow, this is Grandpa Gus's Potent Rodent Repellent for mice and rats. There, there is the ingredients. Now, this is a repellent. This does not kill, so this is not a uh, bait. This is not poison. This is not uh, anything that they eat, ingest, kills them, harms them, whatever, anything like that. So this is the more humane approach to it, and I'm, I'm hoping to repel. Now, first off, I have one, and it is on the loose, and I have been dealing with it and dodging it for about two weeks now. Thank goodness it's not in my house. No, 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 no. It's not in my house and it's really not that close to my house. Where it, I believe it's a she. I don't know why I want to call it a she. Maybe it's a he, who knows. I call it she. She is located um, outside, out in my backyard, uh, in my storage barn. Okay, so you got my swimming pool on one side of the yard and then you have my storage barn on the other side of the yard. And my storage barn, you know, it's, it houses my lawn equipment, my lawn mower, my, my leaf blower, my weed whacker, my whatever, and some other boxes of junk. So that's the issue I'm dealing with. Now, I have a big, huge, beautiful red Doberman Pinscher, who is none other than my beautiful beauty assistant. And he totally owns that yard. So we just simply cannot have a mouse setting up shop playing hotel in my backyard because a Doberman Pinscher is a, a chaser. It is a very fast dog. It runs up to 45 miles per hour. It chases rats. It chases rodents. Uh, he chases squirrels, but he's not too particular with squirrels. He'll let a squirrel slide, but he is a rat chaser. Oh my. And oh yeah, if you have a um, Manchester Terrier dog, <laughs> That is a rat expert. So, you know, anyhow, other words, I got to get it out of here. Got to get it away. Got to get it out of my yard. Got to get it away from my Doberman, my beautiful beauty assistant. Got to get it away from me because you never know, you know. And yet, I do not want to use a trap. I don't want to use a traditional trap. I don't want to use an electric trap to electrocute it. Uh, I just don't feel like breaking its neck. I don't feel like electrocuting it. I don't feel like poisoning, poisoning it. I don't feel like giving it internal bleeding and dropping dead in front of me or whatever. You know what I mean? So I'm trying this approach. Uh, you know, I'm I'm cruelty free here. I'm an animal lover. I rescue and save animals uh, for volunteer work and that's how I roll. So hopefully I can run it off. You know, who knows? Uh, most people are telling me to set up a few traps and smack it, you know, uh, <laughs> and a lot of people do set up a few traps and smack it. But I guess I'm not the trap setting, bait poisoning, smack it kind. Okay, so I'm hoping this works. That's ingredients. I think I already showed you this initially. It uh, looks like it has peppermint oil, cinnamon oil, has uh, water in it, and let's see what else. Okay, it says it has 50% active ingredients. Hydro water mix allows more peppermint repellent power. Cinnamon sting per prevents rodents from chewing. Okay, so cinnamon oil, obviously, and peppermint oil, they just don't want to hang around it. They don't like the smell of it. Apparently, it says it deters rodents from entering, leaves a fresh scent, made in the USA. Ooh, 
It's got the American flag on there. Okay, so yeah, buy American. Uh, anyways, hopefully this works. Shake well before using. There's the directions. And let me know, let me know you guys, have you used this? Does it work? This is what it looks like. Have you used it? Does it work? Does it not work? What, you know, how often do you really have to do this? Is this a daily thing? You know, I'm thinking it probably is. Okay, so it says it can be used in stored vehicles, machinery, a home or cabin, a shop, which basically I have a barn, so yeah, a shop, um, an RV, or a boat. Does it say boat storage? Boat or car storage. Okay. Um, yeah. So hopefully it works. I guess I'm going to go test this out now. I will probably be back on here to give you a final, like a final updated, like review, you know, like I'm going to let you know, did it work? You know, I'm even going to probably set up cameras tonight because, you know, uh, rats are nocturnal. They come out at night. Mine comes out at night in my yard and it has a party. It is having a luau back there. It is having an old fashioned smackdown party. I don't know, it's chasing its tail, it's partying, it's going all over the place. And I'm um, probably gonna set up the camera tonight and see if I can catch some activity. Uh, hopefully I won't catch activity because after I spray or do what I need to do with this, Hopefully I'm not going to catch any activity on film. So hopefully I'll be coming back online within a week or two telling you guys, oh gosh, this is, this is really good stuff. This is so humane. I didn't have to kill it. I didn't have to smack it. I didn't have to electrocute it. I didn't have to bait it or poison it. I didn't have to break the poor thing's neck. You know, I mean, all that sarcasm and everything, but I'm, I'm really being serious, you know. So I'm trying to do the humane approach. I don't know, I'm new to this guys. I've never had a rat issue or a rodent problem ever in my life. Um, it, even I've lived a lot of st in a lot of states. I've owned a lot of houses. I've owned condos, apartments, and I've never had an issue. This one is just, it's out there and it's uh, not going anywhere, you know what I mean? And I just want to make it go, you know. My neighbor's yard might be a lot more quiet, a lot more appealing, so it's like, go that direction you know what i mean but uh anyhow so we'll see how this works wish me luck let me know have you used it does it work does it not work what's your experience with it you have any tips tricks of the trade tips 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 give me tips uh what do you like to do for humane repellent for mousies and rats and you know all that good stuff so yeah well, let me know how you run the rodents off Love to hear it. Now, um, I've heard the method of soaking cotton balls with peppermint oil and putting the cotton balls like in a little mesh bag and hanging the bags. Um, yeah, but okay. Anyhow, let me know what you do. Love you guys. Take care. Bye.